Greetings and welcome everybody. Um, I'm here today to go over um, a series of sequences that are within the um, the DNA cinema known as Arkenheart. Um, I also wanted to say that you could also look at this as a guide for star seeds um, all across the world. Um, I have to say that if for a DNA movie to possibly be activated, you're going to have to activate your crystalline DNA structures themselves. Um, that would be within the physical body uh, here on Earth for um, all known humans. So, um, just to say again, this is a DNA cinema that is um, withfolding or playing within the DNA, the crystalline DNA structure that you could possibly activate. And it is a starseed constellation guide. So my higher, my higher self is a character, um, she was born in Harad, her name is Indy Jem and she is the daughter of a, um, a melanated mother who would be from the uh, Yasigi or Yaguru tribe that um, the, these tribes are directly linked to the Sirius A star constellations or other Sirius uh, star constellations that would be in that region of space. So Sirius A is also known as Sigitolo. Um, Sirius is the lineage um, where my spiritual mother is from in the fifth dimension. She has a tribal house um, from the Yasigi and the Yuguru tribes of Harad. Sirius A. It's in the story of Middle Earth and everything, so. Regions of Harad, also known as Haradrim. Haruz, Sirani, Belakaz, Erdwan, Usakani, and Muma Kandram. These are all these regions are all in a uh, Harad of, of Middle Earth. So these beings came to Harad. And Harad is where my father has to go to unlock certain light codes that my mother has left in the fifth and fourth dimensions. So this 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 information could all be linked to your DNA if you let the source of, from the stars come and activate your co the codes for you. Okay, so if this video goes out, I'm going to make a part two. Um, but to finish this one off, um, the Usakani and the Mumakanrim were wise, ancient, melanated tribal beings who have adapted to the lower parts, the lower regions of Harad and have made many pyramids um, in Harad, the, the desert region that's unknown to 
it's still it's still a region it's still um, a star region to be explored by the other constellations that are in the DNA movie cinema that you that you have to create for yourself as as your higher self so that's, that's very key that's very important um, Muma Kanrim are um, it's a region known to having uh, melanin sand or dark sand because the Muma Kanrim were the they were the darkest uh, melanated people uh, down here in Harad, the, those regions. Okay, so I think part two is going to be about Altair, um, where where the eagles are from, in the movie. And um, this this goes over um, the battle. The battles that, that that could be happening in the, in the movie right now, but um, in this region of Altair, uh, the Gundabad Dornorns, they are um, they have they have the ancient te teachings from the uh, tribal peoples, and they're going to these different regions. Um, See, okay, so Valinor and Gundabad are um, where the um, the Dornords are following the teachings of the the very ancient melanated beings known as um, uh, Melamu or Muma, whichever. It's, uh, They, they have the ancient teachings already, and, and then they're going to go and battle for Gundabad because it's overrun by orcs right now, so the beings from Altair are coming to Gundabad to fight the orcs um, in these regions. It is also where the eagles, the great eagles, where they come from as well. And I'll, I'll go over more about Gundabad in, in the next video. So, thank you for watching and listening. Stay tuned, you guys.